There's the cat. I'm gonna do one of these, uh, well-being videos. I think every every couple weeks. I think this is a good practice. I've been thinking about it because it allows a person like me who does not have a lot of communication, verbal communication with the general public or friends or whatever. Most of all of my friends, all of my old friends are are gone and busy. They're nowhere around. And if they were, we still probably wouldn't hang out because they're busy. Uh, my family's spread out. But I don't have an immediate family like wife and children. So I'm going to, I think for a person uh, like me, I think it's a good idea. It's kind of like, kind of like if you're on a, kind of like for those people that are on a space shuttle and then they check in with their families from time to time. That's kind of where I'm at. Space shuttle. The space shuttle is a garage, but still. Same, same idea. I mean, I'm out there. So, I've said it before in past. Uh, this is, a, I refer to these as check the well, well-being checks. Well-being checks. That's, the, that's what the cops say when they come in your house. Looking for drugs, uninvited. They say, "We're just checking the well-being. We care about your safety." So, uh, we're doing a well-being check. We're gonna do it without the police. Safety check. What? Uh, I don't have anything to really talk about. I just want people to know that things are fine. Cat's doing fine. Neighbor's good. He's messing. He's over there messing with the, the chickens and the ducks right now. They got ducks over there, chickens, roosters, geese even. Pretty cool. So, everybody's doing good. I wish I had some kind of material, but this is not a... This is not for commercial purposes. This is not some kind of comedy skit. Not supposed to be. It's really just. It's really sad, is what it is. Um, you know, it'd be it'd be cool if it was funny, and I think people would be more pleased with with it if it were. But it's really just sad that a, <laughs> that a person is uh. Just putting it, putting the word out there into the world that he's not dead. So, um, yeah, you know things are, are going okay. I'm I'm working like every day, every other day, I'm, every day. I'm working every day. I've taken in the last four weeks. I've calculated that I have taken two days off. In, a, in an entire month, one month, I've taken two days off. And that's, you know, a lot of that is because uh, that's what the poors have to do nowadays. Uh, the poors have to work extra. Uh, prices are up. Everything's up. And, you know, the pay's not, so you just have to work more. We're turning into, like, uh, I don't know what we're turning into. I don't know all that stuff. I can tell you that it's not going well for the poors. I can tell you that. Now, um, not complaining, just stating that's what's happening. I'm doing working every day. Um, No comedic material, like I said. I got nothing funny to say. Once you, I think once you hit a certain age and come to a certain realization about reality, uh, you run out of material. There's nothing funny to say. Uh, I mean, you know, you read, you read stuff in the news and some of that's funny. Like, like uh, I don't even know. I don't read the news. 
Let's move past that topic. Let's scratch that. <clears throat> I'm pretty good at like video editing and stuff, but uh, at some point in time, I realized that it's not paying me to edit, edit any videos at all. It's it's just call, it's just using up more time. Kind of like music when I used to play music. Music was fun when you're young, and you're trying to you know show somebody, you know, I got something to offer or whatever to the world. Look at this talent. Look at this gift. And, you know, video editing is kind of the same thing. If you're not, once you, you reach a certain point in life where you don't get, you realize you're not getting compensated for any of this. So why are you even putting it out there? Why are you even doing it? You're just wasting time. Time is money. And that's why, you know, that's why I said that I'm spending most of my time working. Because time is money. It's not very good money. Not without some connections in like a college I, a college education and um, um, stuff like that. I have none of those things. I'm just flying solo right now. Trying to figure out, trying to get an edge somewhere. But yeah, so I, anyways, I'm not going to edit that part of the video out. Because, like I said, I don't get paid to. So, I'm sorry that you had to watch it. Unedited. Don't really have anything else this week. It's six. We're six minutes and 40 seconds into the video. And I feel like I could. I can just go ahead and end the transmission. We could talk a little bit about that storm that blew through the other day. Because this trash can. Uh, full of concrete. That shows you how strong it was. I left it, like, I've cleaned up most of the damage. I pulled out the chainsaw, cleaned up, uh, cut up a bunch of branches and limbs. Um, got most of the stuff cleaned up. Got a little pile of stuff there from the storm that I'm going to take to the dump. But I left the trash can. This is the only thing I left. And I didn't bother picking it up because it was, I just thought it was impressive how this trash can just completely packed full of concrete got blown over by the storm i guess we can pick that up now we can see oh my gosh oh my see that's heavy i'm not even picking it up the wind blew that over that's how strong that storm was uh last wednesday night i believe yeah like i said i've cleaned up everything since everything else just there was back here um, just nothing but tree limbs and large branches, like big pieces of trees that I had hauled all back in here and then chopped up with the uh, chainsaw, got rid of it. But, uh, but, uh, that was the most powerful storm I've seen roll through this property that I'm currently on, that I've been on for about seven years. Um, yeah, that one took the cake for sure. And it had, there was a lot of widespread damage with it. Pretty impressive storm. I was, I enjoyed watching it roll through. I was having a good time. It was a good show. But it did, it probably did impair a lot of people. I did see a lot of branches and limbs on, on property, like on, on houses and, uh, <clears throat> campers and cars and stuff like that and that's never a good thing that's not fun and i got lucky because i mean there's nothing but if you could see there's nothing but trees around here on the edge of the woods and all of my personal property was spared but i guess that's all i have that's all i have this week Kind of like a log, a log, a uh, blog, a vlog. That's it, vlog, v video log. Um, you know, lots of people do it. Nobody really cares to watch anybody else's. <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying you can refer to this if something happens, uh, which I don't anticipate anything happening. I'm just saying you can you can look back and say, well, he looked. I guess he was all right there. No signs of distress there, I don't think.
Except that he's making a 10 minute long vlog about nothing. So, toodaloo.